Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a full face first impressions video. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up to see more of these videos and let's get into the makeup. So I am doing a first impressions on the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. So I will have that listed down below if it's already out. So what I'm gonna do first is prime half my face with the Makeup for a High Definition Primer. Okay, I'm gonna pop that there. But I'm using my damp beauty blender to apply it. I am so excited to try so many of these products today. I've held on to them because I wanted to try them out in the first impressions. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have the color light. I've seen this being used and it looks amazing. Um, it comes with quite a lot of product. Oh, it comes with 10 mil. How much is the usual? I think the standard is around seven. So it comes with a lot of product. So the packaging is really cute. And the wand is massive, like absolutely huge. So I'm going to, well, apply this. That's ridiculously full coverage. Who needs that much full coverage? <laughs> Color looks quite neutral, which is good. I think it smells really good. I probably could have gone a bit of a darker shade, but I like to get something to use when I'm not super tanned as well. Like I like a, you know, a bit of a, universal kind of shade and light is usually pretty good light in the Too Faced Born This Way concealer is quite good so I just thought I and I usually get light but this is very very light it almost looks a little bit gray on my skin though but it might be that mixed with the foundation it's so full coverage that it's not blending that well I I have to blend with the other end my beauty blender well so far so good i can still see like obviously my dark circles and a bit of my redness coming through there but that usually happens so i am going to use a corrector as well i don't have a new one to try out so i'm just using the physician's formula peach side i don't actually have a new translucent powder to test out either so i'm just using my satin powder And then just using my Astralis Fresh and Flawless powder to set the rest of my face. For my brows, I have the Mellow Cosmetics Brow Pomade and I'm using the color Caramel. This packaging is so adorable. It's like in this little diamond shape thing. And then uh, it just has a little lift off lid. So there you go. I forget how new pomades are so creamy because obviously they dry up and the ones that I'm using at the moment are pretty dried up. So I took a lot of product at first. Okay, so I went full ham on this eyebrow and it's super, super pigmented. I tried to do it a little bit lighter on this eyebrow and it looks like a little bit patchy kind of thing um, versus full ham. <laughs> so I don't know, I think I need to play around with it a little bit more to get a better feeling for it and how it works and how it best applies. I have been using the Anastasia number no. 12 brush to apply it. I'm just gonna get away this baking. Just using my soft ochre paint pot as an eyeshadow base today. I am most excited for this. Like I have been waiting to use this eyeshadow palette. This is the Tarte Tartist Pro. <gasps> now it's mine. Packaging is so luxe. See how it's like matte black and then gold. Like, of course it's dirty with my fingers, but <laughs> oh my gosh. I've only tried the Tarte, um, what is it called? The All the matte eyeshadow ones. So I don't know, I don't have any clean eyeshadow brushes. Let me just clean some. The only thing is because it's so big, it's like, it's hard to open. I've got quite small hands, but. So many colors, I don't know what to use. I'm gonna take my Zoeva 228 and go in with the color Chic or Chic. First. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going to do. I'm just going to try and use as many colors as I can kind of thing. I 
Then I'm gonna take Innocent. So far, like with just two shadows, they're really lovely. I'm gonna take Whimsy, which looks like a beautiful burnt orange color. It just looks amazing. Wow, these shadows are pigmented. Oh, show. Wow, that color is so beautiful. I can definitely see this being one of my new favorite palettes. Then I want to take Mod, which is kind of like a maroon color, a berry maroon color. Ooh. Well, this one didn't blend out as easy as the other. This one's a little bit more work but it's very, very pigmented. See that's kind of like sticking to the spot. Then I'm gonna take Drama, which is this deep burgundy color on a Zoeva 231. Ooh. I always go for these colors. I should have gone for another one. Blended in. I'm gonna take the same colors on the lower lash line as well. So starting off with cheek. And then going to Innocent. Then Whimsy. Then Mod. This is on Azoeva 230. So impressed there's hardly any fallout with these eyeshadows, like hardly any for how much I have on my eyes. Very impressed. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of smoked, super dark brown. I'm going to attempt a half cut crease. So I'm just going to take the half of that eyelid and then I'll blend it in with some darker colors as well. So I might put some. I'm gonna use some of the concealer. This concealer smells so nice. Keep in mind I haven't done this before. <laughs> Then I'm going in with the color Glam, which is a beautiful champagne shimmery color. So I also have another Milo Cosmetics product. This is their gel liner in black. It does come with a little brush. So many eyeliners are doing that these days. This is what it looks like. Love a fresh new little pot. I don't want to take away from the, ugh, my eyes do not suit cut creases. It's already like going everywhere. I feel like it could be a little bit more pigmented. Seems a little bit patchy on, on some bits, but it was really easy to apply. I love fresh new eyeliners because they just glide on. But yeah, that was pretty nice. It is really black. And now I'm gonna take the liner just on my waterline. definitely feel that this glam color turned a lot more gold than it looked when I swatched it without a base. So I am going to use it on my inner corner as well. See how it's like more champagne there? I don't know, maybe it is just gold. Yeah, I guess it's a bit more gold than champagne. I might use a little bit of this color here called Classic. Oops, on the brow bone, which is just a matte color. 
I really like this eyeshadow palette. I feel like it would be better if there were, I guess, a more champagne color as well. It does have a really good mix of colors and they have beautiful pigmentation and it's a quite a large palette with a lot of colors to choose from, but I just feel like it's missing that highlight color, if you know what I mean. I have this Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. This is waterproof black. I did get this ages ago, like so long ago, and I just haven't used it. I just don't tend to use high-end mascara, so I'm using it for the first time. The packaging is quite different. Oh, it's one of those ones that doesn't grab onto my lashes. Oh, underneath it's okay. On top though. See how even if I blink into it, it's like the one's too fluffy, it doesn't grab onto my lashes. I need one with um like plastic bristles. It does separate and lengthen really, really nicely. I just feel like I need a bit more volume. While the mascara dries before I flake it off, I'm going to start on the rest of my face, so my contour. So excited to be using the NYX contour palette for the first time. I have been waiting so bad to try this. I'm gonna take this bronzy color first and bronze a little bit on this Models Prefer powder and bronzer brush. I'll take this next color along. And then take a little bit of this darker color on the end. I like that they're refillable pans, that's really amazing. Can't do with this mascara. It's like in my eyebrow and everything. The mascara ended up having to take some of my eyeshadow off because it wouldn't come off. So if it looks dodgy, that's why. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a mix of these two and pop them underneath my eyes. Oh, I just don't think I can pull off banana powder. But it did definitely brighten up the eyes. That's nice. Just pop a little bit through the center of my face of just the creamy kind of color, not the banana powder. And then I'm gonna take some underneath here. I have this L'Oreal blush. This one is in nude beige. I haven't tried these before, but I think you just like kind of swirl your brush around. They're really shimmery. You can see that shimmer there. The color is quite nice. Very shimmery, so just keep that in mind for those ones. I think I need to use this highlight because this one looks suitable for really fair skin. I feel like a more goldy highlight would suit this look better, but it's quite a nice highlight for a drugstore. I'm gonna put some of that in my inner corner as well. I have this tinted brow gel from Mello that I forgot to use. Oh, the packaging is gorgeous. This one's in light brown. Bit of a chunk there. I probably don't need it, but it adds a little bit of something else to the brows and keeps them in place. Makes them look a little bit more full. Of course, it's picking up all the hairs that need to be plucked. 
Now I have this Gerard Cosmetics little combo. I'm gonna use these today. So this is a lip pencil in Bel Air. And then I have the Nude Gloss. I also have this one in Delicious. so we'll see how Nude looks first. This looks like a stunning color. I've never tried any Gerard Cosmetics before, so. Oh my God, this color is everything. It's so creamy. This color is so beautiful. That is stunning. The color, the packaging, the formula, that's amazing. <laughs> I haven't tried a lip liner that I've been that excited about before. Now, I think I'm gonna go with buttercream actually, which I didn't actually mention before, but yeah, this looks amazing. So now this is one of their, what is this? This is one of their Color Your Smile lip glosses. So it has the little mirror on there and yeah, it lights up as well. So you can apply it in dark places. <laughs> Oh, this is really light. It's quite pigmented. It's quite sticky. I think that looks beautiful, to be honest. Those colors work so well together. This is just like, I love this color. Now I've got to quickly do some lashes. I do want to use this for the sake of using it. This is a sleek highlighting palette in Solstice. I just want to open it up and I needed to use it in a first impressions. Oh, you'll be able to see these highlights. I'm going to take this peachy kind of color. I die. I didn't even like dip my brush in that much. Oh my gosh, that does not look like it. Oh, that does not look like it does on the in the pan at all. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, you can notice that a lot better. Oh wow. Okay, that's amazing. I can see why people talk about it, and I only used one of the colors, so I might save the other colors for our first impressions as well. <laughs> that was an amazing first impressions. <gasps> I'm so glad I have this in my life now. I'm not gonna go too dramatic with the lashes because I need to wear this makeup all day for the first impressions. So I'm just using the Red Cherry 415s. I wore these the other day for like a New Year's look. They're not super dramatic, but they just add some length and volume to my lashes. The cut crease has gone everywhere. <laughs> I feel like this look needs more dramatic lashes. Okay, let me go do my hair and I'll be back. And this is the finished look. So really happy with the products that I used today. The only thing that I wish were a little bit more pigmented was the eyeliner. You can see it in here. It's not quite black enough. Like I need to go over it again. Apart from that, like really happy with everything. The highlighter in the NYX palette could be a little bit more pigmented, but you get that sometimes with the highlighters in the contour palettes. Love the colors in the eyeshadow palette. This lip. Perfect. I know that this is such like a neutral look, but sometimes doing what you usually do is the best way to test out new products to see if they perform the way that your products usually perform or your favorite products do perform. My cut crease is just like fading into my crease there. I probably took it maybe a little bit too high. I do have like maybe like slightly hooded eyes, so. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more of these full face first impression videos. I love testing out new products and I have a lot of stuff to test out. And I feel like you get a good range, like a good mix. I did use probably a little bit too much high end in this one, but there was just so much stuff that I wanted to try out that I'd been holding on to. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.